Expenses are costs that you incur on behalf of clients. You usually can measure expenses by a cost per unit. This training video will show you the basics of adding a new expense to the database. This expense will be named Superfast Parcel Service Shipment. From the navigator, switch to the Manage Names topic and then click New Expense. In Sage Time Slips, you can use two nicknames to identify expenses throughout the application. You can use either nickname on data entry and report screens. In this example, we will use SPS Shipping as the primary nickname. In this example, we will use an expense code for the secondary nickname. Click Apply Defaults to accept the nicknames and view the other expense fields. You can use the expense's full name on bills and reports. Categories allow you to group specific tasks and expenses on bills and reports. We will not use a category in this example. You can specify up to 20 prices for this expense. This is the price per unit. When you select this expense on a slip, Sage Time Slips can automatically apply default values to some fields. You can change these values on the slip as needed. You can specify which price level to use as a default for this expense. When creating the expense slip, you can choose any of the predefined prices or enter a different price. You can specify the quantity of items for the expense. In this example, we will use one. You can specify the bill status, which determines if you will charge a client for this expense. Billable expenses can be charged to the client. Expenses marked Do Not Bill will not appear on bills, but can be useful when tracking expenses internally. Expenses marked No Charge can appear on bills, but will not affect the bill's total. Slips marked Override can appear on bills, but will be charged outside of any current billing arrangement set up for the client. You can specify the hold status for the expense. Expenses using hold will not appear on a bill until you remove the hold status. You can specify a default description for new slips that use this expense. In this example, we will use package shipped by SPS. The billing tab contains options for taxes and markups. In this example, we will apply Georgia and Massachusetts tax to this expense. You can mark up or increase the value of the expense, or you can discount or decrease the value of the expense. Selecting Yes will allow you to manually enter a markup or discount amount. Selecting Client will automatically pull this value from the client's record. In this example, we will mark up this expense by 25%. When you are finished entering expense fields, click Save to save the new expense. 